welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sonia, a self-taught designer, hand letter, and illustrator. In today's video, I wanna share three simple tips on selecting a color palette for your artwork. So the good news is you don't have to know any anything about the color theory. Um, I never went to art school, so I don't really know about them. So this video is really for those who's struggling to find a color that goes well together or just selecting the colors in general. If this is something that interests you, keep on watching. Okay, so the first tip I have for you is to determine a mood or tone of your artwork. So what I mean by that is think about what kind of mood or emotion you wanna evoke from your viewer, um, your audience, when they're looking at your artwork. So for example, in my case, I create a lot of um, piece relating to happiness or positivity, motivation, something like that. So I would go with more of a brighter tone color um, comparing to more of a pastel tone color. I would also choose maybe more a bold color such as maybe bright pink or yellow comparing to maybe gray or purple kind of color. If you're still not sure where to start uh, as your primary color, you can always go online. I like to go to dribble.com. Dribble.com is just an online platform where uh, the artists all over the world can upload their portfolio and you could just simply do a keyword search. So in my case, again, I could search for maybe positivity and see what kind of color palette shows up. Now, just be mindful when you do when you are doing the keyword search because when you search for, let's say, happiness, uh, not only it shows up the artwork that's attached with happiness, but also if there's an ID that includes that keyword, that shows up as well. So just be mindful when you are looking through them. But again, if you're scanning through uh, some of the artworks attached with that keyword, it will give you kind of a good idea where could be your starting point in terms of selecting a color. Tip number two is to get inspiration from everywhere. This could be um, the colors in the interior design of your local coffee shop. It could be going to a clothing store and just simply looking at what kind of colors they display together. Um, it could be through nature, kind of the colors of a flowers or looking at the colors in um, exotic animals. And also, as I mentioned before, you could go to dribble.com and simply scan through uh, other artists' work as an example. Again, just looking at this um, example is a good way to start on your color palette and kind of getting to know what color goes well together, blends well together, and what does not. Tip number three is to get on Instagram. So there's actually a several Instagram accounts that they just dedicate their account to colors. A good example here is called Colors Cafe. So not only they offer a post with the color palettes, uh, they also offer some of the posts that's attached with the illustration using that specific color palette, which makes it super helpful to visualize how that color palette will, will look on your artwork. Another account is called Awesome Color, same concept where they just create a post including a certain color palette. The last thing I wanna share is called Pantone. This account is not solely for um, it's not really offering you a color palette per se, just like how Color Cafe or Awesome Color is, but it really offers a really fun post with a lot of splash of colors, which I think it will be super helpful if you're struggling with color in general. There's also certain artists that I know that they offer their color palette. I will go ahead and add um, their Instagram handles in the description box below for you to check it out. The bonus tip I have for you is for those who's asking how many colors is a good number of colors to use in an art piece. Well, that really depends on the goal of your artwork. If you're doing a simple hand lettering, uh, black and white will work well. Or if you're doing something more of a complex illustration, obviously you're gonna go ahead and use more colors. But I think in general, if you're just starting out and you're not really used to using colors, I think three is a good starting point. And as you get more comfortable, you could go ahead and expand from maybe five to 10. Again, there's really no rule to using um, how many colors is the right way to go. But again, if you're starting out and you're not too comfortable using colors, you can always start from less, like three to five, and then expand that way. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these, please subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. I also want to let you know that I create uh, more tutorials, like mini tutorials for Procreate and Illustrator, so go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.